Okay, welcome back. It's uh, Phil and Steve doing our uh, Banjo Kazooie thing in the jiggy. Um, yeah, so just uh, having a look around, this is the uh, Treasure Trove Cove Pirate level. Um, now, normally, this isn't up. We'll explain that later. Again, yeah, we, we won't there, we'll, go we'll to that. that. But a um, little secret they included in the, actually in the original Nintendo 64 version of the game. Um, but never actually got implemented in the final version. And here are snippets. These are some kind of crab that are somehow bigger than the honey bear. Now, the enemies <laughs> do respawn in the end. Now. Oh, the uh, most annoying enemy I hate. This freaking thing. Okay, we'll see. Oh, here we go. Right. Ew. So there go. Nope, here he comes. His snack of the shark. Um, I'm going to get here, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no. nice one. Nice one. Um, what, he's, he's kind of annoying, but what I like about him is uh, every time you jump in the water, he says something different relating to uh, dinner. So, for example, he said something like an appetizer there. Oh. Uh, um, he goes and says like, stuff about like coffee and mints and things. Now, obviously, as you see there, we have red feathers. Again, we'll be there in a minute to show what um, they're used for. It's fairly obvious. Now, here's the boss of the uh, level. And you're about to be attacked. And I'll be a bit, I'm going to be... <laughs> uh, yeah. So, this thing, I always thought he'd look good with a little uh, string of onions around his neck and a little French moustache. And you'd be like, oh, just with the beer, I've come to steal your jigs off your scenes. Yeah, but remember, this is a British-made game. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I think it'd be awesome as a little French dude. Alright, come on. Now, the simple fact is, you wait for him to do his clippy thing and... and then jump in and whack him in the gigantic arms. And then run arms. away. <laughs> and, um... He's kind of harsh, because he, he kind of looks a bit funny. And he retreats inside his shell, but I don't know where he goes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As you'll <laughs> soon find out, I don't, I don't know how this has now become really big. And yeah, he's just disappeared. Yeah, he's completely. Right in there. And uh, now I think there is an enemy in here, isn't there? I think there's one crap. Yeah, that could be him. Oh, oh no, dude, dude. <laughs> do. Okay, get the jiggy. He kind of has the ability to um, yeah teleport or something because he's just disappeared from the shell. Right, first of this le of this uh, level. Right, onwards. Uh, where to next? Uh, oh, I right. Pirate ship, yeah, I'm about to say probably pirate ship. And we'll see a, another well staple character actually in the in the franchise. Yeah. Who's in e every game? He's kind of irritating. <laughs> Who's very irritating and sounds like my brother on a <laughs> night out. So this is Captain Blubber. Uh, he's lost his treasure, he's, uh, and he constantly burps, which is disgusting. And uh, he's a hippo. Just to throw that in the mix, just... Yeah. Now, there is no Mumbo, because uh, I've just seen the Mumbo token. Yeah, see there is no, uh, no Mumbo skull on here. No transformation. However, you can still collect them like that. Now, the gold's fairly obvious. It's underneath his ship. Because he's an idiot. Can't find it. So grab the notes. And try not to drown. Awesome movement by me. It's fine. It's all good. Swim up. Yeah, swimming. Swimming in is kind of a bit clunky. Is that, no, wrong way. No, you have to go through the. Oh, let's go underneath. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, Snacker can't spawn in fresh water, so <laughs> I think we're alright. Yeah, it's a bit odd that he's everywhere else but there. But then saying that, this isn't open water, so yeah. it's fine. And frankly, I don't want to be coming out of the out of the, out of the uh, exit here and having Snacker looking me square in the face. Yeah, basically all you can do is just give him his gold back and um, he gives you a jigsaw which is made of gold. So I'm not entirely sure yeah. what he was crying about. Now, as you can hear the music in the background, uh, that's obviously the Treasure Crow Co's uh, normal music. Uh, it was very, very different. Um, I'll put some audio of it in a minute, what it used to sound like. Now, it's, it's a bit of a beach boy, I suppose. A bit of... Sort of, yeah, I think it's supposed to be like beach boys. But um, yeah, I think I can't remember who it was. Now I'll put it on the thing. Oh, I told Grant Kirkhope, who made all the music, composed all the music, to change it, and I think for the better, really. Thank God. All right, here's our. Is it uh, new move uh, level? Yeah, press X. Oh, press X. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's B and. Uh, yeah, and then it's four. It's B button. Um, this is the Xbox version. <laughs> Not... Right. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, it's. Pretty simple, Kazooie can fly um, using the flying pads. You can't do it normally, however, on the pad, you can just somehow do it. 
Well, I suppose the reason she can't fly normally is because she's got that fat bear stuck to her front. That's <laughs> true. Just gotta grab the mumbo token, may as well, see that I'm here. Yeah, you don't have to get every mumbo token. We should, uh, no, well, I say, well, we I say mean, we're doing helps, 100%, it but... It helps to get more, uh, as many as you can, um, as early as possible. Up, like, <laughs> like we did in the last level. Right, here's Leaky the Bucket, am I right? Yes. Oh, yes, Leaky. Now, Who, um, you have to fart them in. Patch them up. With three eggs. But, um... Oh, two, I lied. Yeah, you basically fart eggs into it. Kill that thing. <laughs> and, uh, Which is a bit of a nightmare it. enemy, but there we go. Let's get the notes. Grab the notes. And into the sandcastle, which somehow is still standing at the bottom of the ocean. Right, here is a, a black snippet here. Um, yeah, as you can see, stuck in the cage with a jiggy. And now, to solve this puzzle, to it's out. fairly obvious what do I do. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fairly obvious what to do. It's just. Type smashing downs. You just have to spell out and go. Fairly obvious. Now, this floor is actually used for cheats in the game as well, which bottles gives to you very late on if you want. You, well, you can do it from the start, you but I start, advise but I would not, not recommend to, doing which it. Which we will explain a lot later. Live, uh, on the Live arcade version of this game. Do not do it. <laughs> uh, is that what I said? Uh, ooh, I didn't get the gin. Yeah, I'll get to that. Well, you have to use flying pad anyway, don't you? Uh, uh, I've, 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 I've got how to spell. You need another O. There it is. There it is. <laughs> yeah. There we go. An I. And now we open the gate. And he turns into a massive dick and tries to kill you. <laughs> no, he takes one more hit. Well, two more hits, technically. Second jiggy? No, third. Third, no okay. Already. Yeah, we're rocking through it. Now, uh, not sure there's nothing else we can do. At this present moment, there's nothing much to do. Uh, right, so we'll go to the right. <laughs> Let's go this way. Find him. See if we can uh, find the jump pad. There it is. Shot jump this. There we go. I oh, no, just d <laughs> okay. But put it simply, it's um, it helps to do a jump higher yeah, when you go to this part. Brand bendy legs to jump even higher up the air. Uh, which means oh, you shut can, up! Come on. Which means you can travel further, obviously as well. I don't know if there's anything above this one, but right now. Nope. Uh, right, as you can see, I've just seen the jiggy up there, that's fairly obvious to get. Oh, we'll get... uh, I could have just backflipped there, but never mind. Well, you just jump there. And I missed. Uh, there we go. Slowly going through this. I think you can go over to that other one. I didn't mean to do that. Never mind. It worked. It's fine. Absolutely fine. And it's. Right. Now obviously this game we've, we've both played before, um, so it's fairly quick. There's going to be some games I would assume that maybe one of us has played and one of us hasn't. So uh, that should be entertaining. Here it comes. It's going to be dessert. Go away. Okay, I think we're going to end this one off here, guys. So uh, tune in next time to uh, see us grab that mumbo token over there in the background. See you next time, guys. See you later.